Hey everyone, it's Jeannie for Not Too Shabby and today I am sharing this fun card featuring Lawn Fawn's More the Merrier. This is actually card one of two. In a couple weeks or less than a week, I will have another video featuring the same stamp set used in a very different way and I thought it would be fun to do because this stamp set was really popular when it came out and I thought that a lot of people might have it and might want some ideas for it and plus it's super cute. Also features s'mores, which is one of my favorite snacks, especially around a campfire. I live in the city, so I don't really get to be around a campfire very often. So I will cheat and stick a marshmallow in the microwave, just heat it up really quickly and then make my own s'mores. I know that that's not the same. It's not the same without the campfire, but I mean, I live in the city. What am I going to do? especially when I want s'mores, but I do love marshmallows and it's like my favorite part of a s'mores. I know that a lot of people don't like marshmallows, but for me, I love them. Let me know in the comments below if you love them too. For the images for this card, I stamped them out using um, a Copic Friendly ink. It's Momento Tuxedo Black. I stamp it like a few times because I need to refill my ink pad, but it works well with Copic markers, doesn't smear, and I'm just coloring up all these little images using my Copic markers. I don't do anything super fancy. I think if you've seen my videos, I usually go in with two to three colors depending on how small the images are. For the marshmallows, I, I think I just use one color. It just doesn't really create that much dimension because they're technically white already, but I think that it just really works with coloring everything really quickly. And I'm using the same red throughout all the packaging for the items. So for all the graham crackers, the marshmallows, and the chocolate, I went with red. And I think because I think of dark chocolate Hershey's, those bars have that red wrapping and I haven't bought one of those in a really long time, but I think that that's why I went with red. Originally when I created this card, I actually started off with a teal background. And when I colored these images, I went with red and I thought that it didn't really go together. So later on, I'll switch it over to pink. You'll see the teal in, I think, one shot or so, but I do change my mind. I have a hard time picking color palettes, and usually if I work with my background first and then I do the color, they never match. It's so weird. So usually I will stamp out my images first and then pick my background and the components for the rest of the card afterwards to avoid having to change my mind. So you'll see the teal cardstock on the left-hand side and I just decide it doesn't go. I decided to add in the campfire into my card because of the sentiment I ended up choosing. So once I chose my sentiment after I did my coloring, I actually stamped out this little campfire and I'm using it for my card. For my background, it's super simple. I pulled out one of my acrylic blocks, it's in a square, and I picked five images just to put on the acrylic block to create a custom background. I chose five because I feel like odd numbers just look better. I think even is too even, it's just kind of weird. So I'm just using Lan Fawn's Hippo ink, which is this gray ink. It works so well for light backgrounds. It's kind of in my craft stash that's really handy and I reach for when I want something light like that. For the sentiment, I did want a longer sentiment. It says we go together like a campfire and s'mores and that's why I had to pull out the campfire because the sentiment wouldn't make sense with the card without the campfire. For the sentiment, I decided to pop it up on foam tape and that's the only thing I wanted to pop up on foam tape because I just wanted it to be more forward than the images itself. The images actually don't go over the sentiment or anything like that, but I did want that sentiment just to pop and usually adding foam to a sentiment just helps with that. So I am arranging all my little items and you'll notice that the owl is now holding the s'mores. I just took my X-Acto knife around his little arm and I cut two slits around there and I just slid the s'more inside. That way I didn't have to mask or anything. I hadn't planned for the owl to be holding it 
but it just ended up that way. The s'more's pretty big for him and he's making another one so he obviously loves s'mores too. So I'm just arranging them on the card and once I finish I will glue everything together and this will be my card. It is a super simple card and I think that this setup for a card can easily translate to any stamp set that you might have in your collection. Using the smaller images for a background is such a good way of using everything in a stamp set. So I have a tendency to try to use all the images in a stamp set because I feel like it's a waste when you buy a stamp set and you can't use all the images and this is the perfect way to do it. I thought that it would be cute to have the packaging and all most of the scene on top of the sentiment but those excess marshmallows I thought would be adorable as kind of almost embellishments at the bottom of the card so it's not so top heavy and it just kind of balances it out and I really liked how it looked. That is it for today's card once I put everything together and like I said I'll have another video featuring the same stamp set and I hope you enjoyed it so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!